Hello guys, welcome to the learning session. In this session, I will walk you through the modern approach of storing and managing login credential of the application used in the RPA scenarios. I will also discuss how we can overcome the challenges of traditional pass password management method using this new technique. I will also talk about the prerequisite to set up Azure Keyword Secret and demonstrate an end-to-end -end use case. So let's start. So let's begin with Azure Keyword Credential. Before that, let's understand what is Azure Keyword. Azure Keyword is a central repository and the safest place to store and manage credential used in the automation. It supports storing login credential for the application which we are using in web and UI automation scenario. In the demo, I will show how we can leverage Azure Key Vault credential for that purpose. Additionally, it also support storing credential for the desktop flow connection. Credential can be shared with other makers or user with the appropriate permission. It also support ALM by exporting and importing solution via environment variables. By retrieving latest password from vault, credential support password ro rotation. Some of the problem in traditional pass password management methods are Storing password as plain text in the flow variable will be easily visible in the logs of the flow run instance. It is also not recommended to store application password in data source like SQL, SharePoint list or Dataverse. Someone can easily hack the password stored in password protected Excel file. There is an option to store password in an encrypted variable in desktop flow but the problem is that we need to update the flow periodically when we are changing the password of the underlying application. The benefits of Azure Key Vault credential are as we have discussed it avoids editing the desktop flow in the live production environment for the scenario where the application password is changed and you also support password rotation but there are additionally benefit by having azure key vault credential in the desktop flow we have less number of requests for the support team to update the password in the desktop flow so this reduces the burden on the support team Having Azure Key Vault credential uh, in place, we reduce the error rates in, in automation processes. It also saves time and money. Prerequisite are you need Power Automate Desktop version 2.54 or higher. Add your subscription for setting up the secret key in the repository. The Power Automate environment and the Azure subscription must be on the same tenant. Microsoft Power Platform resource provider should be registered in the Azure subscription. And we need a required access permission to create the secret in Azure Keyword repository and as well as use the secret in the Power Platform environment. I will cover point number four when I will show you in the demo. Let's jump on to the demo. So here is the scenario. We have a desktop flow. It is simple desktop flow that log into Postman web application. You can see it launches a Microsoft Edge with a login URL and then it enters a username, password and finally click the sign in button. If we check the password action, It is mass, so I can't see the actual password. The problem with this approach is if we change the password of Postman app, web app, then we have to edit the desktop flow and enter the new password here. Think of this as a production environment where this desktop flow is saved. In that case, we have to 
चीज आउट टू सपोर्ट टीम टू गेट दिस थिंग डन सो लेट सी हाउ वी कैन ओवरकम दिस इशू बाय सेटिंग अप एज योर की वर्ल्ड क्रेडेंशियल before creating azure key vault credential first do a check at the prerequisite so two important prerequisite are your desktop power automate app should should be 2.54 or higher you can check from the help and click about so here you can check the version another thing is you go to portal.azure.com and click on subscription select the active subscription go to settings in settings you get the source providers you can search for our platform so it should be registered if it is not then you can click three dots and you will get a register option here so we are all set for creating azure key vault credential the next step is we will set up azure key vault secret so go to microsoft azure portal click key vaults so for this demo i already have a azure key vault set to add the secret key from the left navigation under object select secrets so if you get you are not authorized to view these content don't worry uh, it is basically we don't have permission to add the secret key so for that go to access control from the left navigation if you click role assignment you can see we i don't have you know the privilege to create the secret in this world so for that i have to add a role assignment so click add and then click add role assignment button select for administrator so key world administrator so this role allow us to add secret in this key vault so select this role click next then you have to select add members select the name and then click next and finally click assign and review button so if you see in the role assignment so i am the key vault administrator now so it allows me to add secret in this vault so going back to the now you can see there is no error related to permission so we can just add a new secret click generate then enter the name as postman app secret and the value is the actual password of postman just enter it and click create so when you create it the postman app password is saved in this secret key to use this in the credential we have to set some permission so go to access control so you have to click on add role assignment search for user so this is the role we are looking for key vault secret user so this role allow us to use this secret in the power platform environment so select this row click next select add select members so you have to add dataverse service principal to this row select dataverse and also the maker who will create the credential in the power platform select those user click next 
and finally click review and assign button if you see under role assignment there are two user who can use this secret one is a data over service principal another is a maker so now our secret key is set up so let's go to power platform environment to create a credential to create the credential go to power automate maker portal if you can't find credential in the left navigation don't worry click more click discover all and if you scroll down a bit you can you will see this credential option just click that click new single credential and we'll type as post postman app credential for description let's put for them click next now you will get multiple option for using application credential in the desktop flow we will use desktop flow in the credential option then it will ask to choose the store so we will use azure key vault click next then it will ask for the username and password so we'll create a new username for postman web application let's say postman app username its value will be the username of the postman app create new username so what it will create it will create an environment variable of type text and there it will store the username of postman app so it is created now we'll create a password for password click create new display name postman app pwd short form for the password then this subscription id resource name vault name and secret name we will get from the azure portal so go back to the key vault and there you will get so first copy the subscription id next resource group name so this is you can copy from the detail page of key vault key vault name is a business app credential and the secret name is go go to the secret and you can just copy this name and paste in the text box so click create new password button so what it will do it will create another another environment variable of type secret so there you go both environment variable are created now we can save this credential so credential is being saved you can click here and you can see that dependencies also if you click here you can see it has created two environment variable one for the username another for the password so we will see how we can use this credential in the desktop flow coming back to the desktop flow now we will use that credential in the desktop flow for the postman application so search for get credential action so this is the action that we can use for getting the application password from the azure key vault just drag it after the launch edge action if you see the drop down you can see uh, this is the credential we have just created few minutes back select this and it 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 gives a variable of type credential so let's see how we leverage this variable in the further action for for putting the name and the password 
in the input text field we'll save it now first go to the username because credential has two part as we have saved it has username and the password so here we will put the username uh, part so if you select credential it has two things username passwords so here you just double click it so it will put the username in this action just save it and similarly for the password you can just remove this if it if it is encrypted then you have to first switch to input as text or variable and then you can choose the variable So here we have to choose the password of the credential. So let's run this flow and see if it is working or not. looks like it has failed yes so it says fail to get pipe name from the registry i think we have missed some configuration going back to the documentation it seems it runs only on the register machine even for local attended or debugging runs so let me log into a remote machine that is registered to this Envir power platform environment so i am into this machine which is registered with the this test power platform environment so let's run the desktop from desktop flow from here the bot launches the edge browser to log into the postman app it gets the username for the credential and the password and then it log log into this application postman application so here you go the flow ran successfully going back to the flow so you can see it is a sensitive value and we we can't able to figure it out the password from the from the flow run logs so with this tutorial we have seen how we can avoid editing desktop flow when password rotates for underlying application used in rp scenario this modern method of using azure key vault credential for application password works for attended and unattended mode runs as well i hope you enjoy you have enjoyed this session thank you for watching have a good day for more videos please like and subscribe to my channel thank you